a lot of those videos, they may not get a million views a month, but they may get 50,000 views a month. And very but, consistent. Yes. And then when you have 100, 200 of those videos, the view count adds up to being a lot. What are like the the five plus in your opinion? So the, I mean, I mean, the, is it your opinion or is it a fact? I mean, I, I'm not sure if the algorithm algorithm is open. The algorithm's not open. Okay. But they say there's a lot of factors. So there's 200 plus, but there's been a lot of data and studies. Mm -hmm. So we look at we analyze over 900 million domains, and we know the factors that really impact rankings. Mm -hmm. So number one is how popular is your brand? Like if you have a popular brand like Nike or um, uh, Globo, you're less likely to create fake news, mm -hmm. right? Because people trust it. So Google wants to rank brands higher. So branding is what a big factor. And if you look at the top 10 search queries on Google, almost all of them are brands. I think the majority, like six or seven of them are brands. Mm -hmm. The second thing that you really need to focus on is creating amazing content. If you don't create amazing content, they won't know what to rank you on. The content doesn't have to be text. It could be video. It could be audio. It could be text. It can be any of them because Google can decipher videos, right? They own YouTube. They can decipher audios. And of course, they understand text. Mm -hmm. The third thing you need to do is make sure that other people link to you. So it's like votes. You guys just had a presidential election. The reason the president won is because he had more votes, right? So on the internet, a vote is a one website linking to another website. So the more websites linking to yours that are relevant and good, the higher you're going to end up ranking. Mm -hmm. Three, you need to button up your code. Your code on your website needs I to mean, be... The three was the, the backlinks, oh, right? Oh, four, sorry, four. The four? Four is your code. The code? Uh-huh. But how important is the code? I mean, it's because of the loading time? Yes. It's it's very relevant. Yes, because it's loading time. You, you take out your phone, and if it takes you 10 seconds to load a website, you're not going to stay there. You're going to go on to the next one. But the reason code is important, not just for loading time, mm -hmm. but for them to crawl your page. See, if your code is messy, like a messy kitchen, if you're mm -hmm. cooking a recipe, but you can't find where everything is, that's going to take you forever. Mm -hmm. And people get frustrated. But if your code is clean, like your kitchen is organized, it makes it much easier and search engines prefer that. And then the last one that no one really considers a factor, but you'll understand this one is time. See, everyone wants everything right now. You mm -hmm. have to be consistent. You have to do this long enough, just like you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It took you years before you really started to take off. See, uh, I know a lot of people who talk about you in Brazil and they say you're overnight success. Mm -hmm. I disagree. I don't mean this in a negative way. I mean, in a positive way. You worked very hard for many, many years to get to where you are right now. It wasn't just all of a sudden you're, oh, everyone sees you and that's it. You put in so many hours and years to create this company, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen overnight. And people think that you can just get amazing results, whether it's in marketing or business. No one builds a big business in one year. It takes three, four, five, ten years to build something massive. Yes. And it's really good hearing you say all of that. Like it's it's like you talk in a clean and very understandable way. Like you use metaphors and all of this. This is so cool. Thank you so much. The top five things are brand, awesome content. Yeah. Backlinks. Yeah. A clean code and time. By time, you don't mean timing, right? It's time like consistent. Consistent, consistent. and being patient. Okay. So you have to continually do it for many years, but you have to wait many years. People want to do something and get the results right away. It's like an investing. Mm -hmm. When you pick a stock, you can't control inflation. You can't control who's going to be president. You can't control a lot of factors that can make the stock market go up or down. But if you believe in the company, like I believe in Amazon, I believe in Apple, I believe in Google, I've owned a lot of these stocks for a long time. I'm not giving financial advice. I'm just saying I've owned these stocks for a long time. So some years they go up, some years they go down. But because I believe in the companies in the long run, I've done very well because I pick 
the right ones, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? So you have to be consistent because you can't always time things. Remember we earlier we were talking about, oh, did you get lucky and do it at the right exact moment? When I say timing is, is you have to be patient and consistent because even a lot of good companies like a Google or Apple, sometimes they have a bad year, even if they're making more money because you can't control the inflation. You can't control supply chain. These are all mm -hmm. things that can hurt companies, but in the long run, you know, you're wearing an Apple watch. You have mm -hmm. an iPhone, amazing company that creates amazing products. I'm not telling people they should buy the stock. That's up to them. I'm just saying when I see something I like, I'll buy it and I'll hold it for the long term. Oh, okay. Very, very good. And it makes uh, very good sense from what I've studied. Like I'm a beginner uh, when I'm near you, but they they make sense for me. A lot of sense. And you you probably had tons of cases. Like you helped a lot of companies grow a lot. I know a lot of companies you've helped and you probably had have a lot of other ones. Can you share uh, a case, a good case with us and maybe sharing like the logic, uh, the mathematic logic of this thing? Like we have a hundred uh, thousand searches for this keyword. The site in the first position has like 40% of the clicks. Each click is like, $10 or something like, can you tell me uh, a case? Yeah, so a great example of this is uh, Empiricos. So okay. Empiricos, when they started getting into uh, cryptocurrencies, they weren't ranking for a lot of the terms. Mm -hmm. We got them number one in Brazil when we were working with them for the term Bitcoin. In which year you, you did it? Uh, Pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. Okay, so with that term Bitcoin, It was so popular, right? The amount of emails that they were generating was thousands and thousands and thousands. Then from the emails, they start pushing products that they sell and they were starting to generate from what we could see tons and tons of revenue. I can't actually tell you their revenue numbers, but you get the point, right? It's one of the most popular financial terms, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, um, I know you know the uh, Rico people, Rico XP. When we work with them, for in two year period, we got them over two million visits. Two million visits. Two million from just SEO. Think about how many signups you're going to get and how much revenue that can generate for you in the long run, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it it can go with all businesses, you know, like um, uh, in the United States and actually globally now even including Latin America, United States, uh, Europe, we work with Adobe. So Adobe, Adobe yeah. is everywhere, right? Their software. Yes. Now, they spend so much money on paid advertising. What if you can get that traffic for free and cheaper? Mm -hmm. And it's been such a big ROI that when Adobe started with us, now their campaign is four or five times larger because the ROI is so massive. Right. And we even won awards for our work with Adobe. Uh, we got search marketing awards, but the same goes with paid advertising. You know, a lot of people are spending money in Brazil that we're seeing on Facebook and Google, and they're not fine tuning their landing pages, their copy for conversions. And we go in there and we fix a lot of these things. So that way, when someone is spending, you know, three, four million reais a month on ads and we start giving them 30, 40, 50% more efficiencies. That's a lot of savings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, uh, I started uh, growing my YouTube channel when I started applying SEO mechanics on my videos. Because back then, uh, the YouTube algorithm wasn't so good as it is today. And even today, the YouTube algorithm uh, reads a lot of texts, like the 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 tags we put in the videos the thumbnail raw name of the file like the title of the video yep and i started producing a lot of videos with a long tail like how to invest your money your money for beginners like uh, how to buy a tesoro selic uh, how to start investing how to buy a crypto investing Uh, in crypto, a lot of terms that we have a lot of uh, searches every month. And these videos 
weren't as good as the ones I produce when I'm aiming at timing, but they have like a longer tail. Yes. And I have a lot of those little seeds planted. And now we're talking and I have a lot of videos growing from time to time, even the ones I produced like five years ago. Like that's the beauty of the SEO, right? Yes. And the beauty of it is a lot of those videos, they may not get a million views a month, but they may get 50,000 views a month. And very but, consistent. Yes. And then when you have 100, 200 of those videos, the view count adds up to being a lot. Hmm. And maybe it's, I feel it's more qualified. Because Much more. it's like the answer for a question. It's not like something, oh, okay, let's watch it. It's like a answer, an answer a, someone needs. So when they f look for an answer, they're more uh, open to buy something, to become a lead or, or something like. And when we talk about SEO in Brazil and in the States, I feel, especially when we are talking about uh, paid search, that Brazil has a lot to develop. I feel here it's a little cheaper than it is in the US. A lot of companies didn't yeah. do it here already. What are the difference for you that works in both countries and maybe other countries when we talk about SEO and competitive scenario on both countries? Yes, yeah, so first off, it is much cheaper in Brazil than the US and even a lot of European countries but the revenue you generate per click is also less in Brazil. It's like, oh, ah, okay, understood. You, you get what I mean? Because of buying power, right? Yes, yes. So, yes. so companies were willing to pay, like Apple is willing to pay more in America for the click than they would in Brazil because the buying power is larger. It doesn't mean Brazil is bad. It just means that because of currency exchange, right? Mm -hmm. Right now, it's like, uh, I think, 5.5 .5 to 1 or somewhere around yes, there. Yes, yes, something like so, that. So, like, if you want to buy an Apple product in Brazil, yes, the clicks are cheaper, but that laptop is very expensive for a Brazilian. So, the conversion rates is, is much maybe lower. Smaller. Yeah. Yes. Um, but the tactics and the strategies are the same. So, we do see in Brazil, SEO and paid advertising, a lot of big companies are starting to do it. It is getting competitive, but it's not as competitive in the States or even in Europe um, because it's more up and coming in Brazil. Mm -hmm. So this is the opportunity for businesses to go and spend more because it's a blue ocean. It's wide open. Mm -hmm. There's not as much competition. But the factors, the way you get the rankings, like we talked about the five main points, it's the same if you're in the United States or in Brazil or in the UK or in India. There's not much of a difference. Even social media marketing for YouTube marketing or even, um, you know, uh, Facebook or Instagram, it's the same in all the countries. Like with YouTube, we do the same stuff from the images to the tags to the mm -hmm. thumbnails to try to get more clicks to try to creating a video that people love so they keep sticking around. But mm -hmm. what we see is in places like Europe mm -hmm. or in North America, it's more competitive because you have way more people. It's harder because you have way more people creating content for the same exact term. Uh, so yes. a great example for this is, you know, the term seguro, uh, auto insurance. Uh, ins seguro, yes. Yeah, yeah, insurance. So in the America, United States, for the term auto insurance, there's less than 200,000 searches a month. Okay. There's over 1.1 billion, with the B, results. So very, very competitive because there's so many people competing for those 200,000 searches a month. Wow. A lot of people like sees SEO as a way of not having the need to work anymore. I mean, you produce <laughs> some blog uh, posts, then you have a good landing page, a digital product, and you don't work ever again. There are a lot of books even talking uh, something like that, like work one, two, three hours a day and all this stuff. But how much time do you think we uh, need to expect to reasonably wait for results? So two things. One, if you, with Google, okay. they do over nine algorithm changes per day. Mm -hmm. So if you stop doing SEO and creating content, over time, you'll notice that your traffic will start going down. 
Yes. So you can't actually stop. Two, you need to do it for more than a few hours a day. It needs to be a dedication. If you have a business like you do, you need to have people within the company focused to it. If you are doing it yourself, you need to spend more than an hour to two hours a day. You may need to spend three, four hours and do other stuff as well to run the business. And then to see the results, you'll start seeing results within six months, but it usually after two years, you really start seeing amazing results. But within six months, you'll see some good traction. Uh, okay, so from six to two, six months to two years. Like w when you talk about SEO, uh, you usually help companies on YouTube and other platforms or usually on Google? Google, Bing, uh, YouTube, TikTok. And is there a difference on how much time to expect the results? In yes. Your opinion? So we pretty much do any major platform where there's search. Um, we technically do marketing on every platform for our clients. We do all digital platforms. But um, YouTube, mm -hmm. you can get results in 24 hours. Yes, it's very different. Here. It's very different. Google, long run. It can take six months to two years. TikTok, we're seeing results within days at the latest. Um, LinkedIn, search isn't as popular, but you know, with most social media platforms, it's all about what's new and fresh. Most social platforms, you can see results within days at the latest. It's it's very uh, as someone who produces content on social media, it's like it's very hard to produce on social media because you need to uh, get right the timing of the things, and then a lot of the things you just produced like uh, age is not very well, and it, it if it generates results, it did. Yep. If it doesn't, there's no more use for that content. So that's why I really love to produce on YouTube and also on Google, but more on YouTube because it have it has a long tail. And on TikTok, the things are crazy. The algorithm is crazy. It's very fast-paced. It's yes. very different. Like if you could give us some hints or some tips to maybe apply SEO to TikTok, what would be the main tips here? So I'll actually do something even better. Okay. I'm going to tell you one tip for all platforms. Ah, that's so cool. Okay, so we'll start with TikTok. The big thing on TikTok, they actually want a lot of comments the first day the video goes live. Mm -hmm. So if you have comments that are engaging, and sometimes even if they say something different than you, and it creates other people to leave more comments, that's what actually causes the video to go more viral. Comments, the top tier of the engagement in TikTok then? Yes, you need comments, and a lot of them right when a video goes live. Okay. And not comments like, good job, or amazing. It needs to be... Real conversations. Real conversations. YouTube, it's all about how much traction does your video get in the first day. So what we do is when we release a video, you send email blasts, push notification blasts, SMS blasts, so that way everyone sees it in the first 24 hours then that video is more likely to get suggested and ranked higher. It's all about the first 24 hours with that. With Facebook, we see videos that are over five minutes generate over 80% more views. We analyze over 900 company Facebook pages and the videos that were over five minutes performed over 80% better than the shorter form videos. So Facebook wants, so not, not YouTube, uh, Facebook wants longer form, videos but like uh, is there somebody still using facebook it is there's it's super popular really not in our age range but the older age range really uses facebook still uh, okay linkedin is comments engaging comments they need to be at real conversations at least 12 words long and you need other profiles with similar types of following to leave comments in the first four uh, hours TikTok, it doesn't have to be uh, comments from people with the same audiences. It can be with anyone. But LinkedIn, you need people with similar type of audiences leaving comments. That works the best. What could be the logic behind this hint? It's all about the network effect is my guess. And they look at it from a business side and you know who has similar networks and what people they think one mm -hmm. would like, the other may like. The thing uh, about LinkedIn that is so cool and so important for us. I mean, it's very important, but we don't usually use it for selling. We use it more for brand. But LinkedIn, 
is uh, if you if I like a post of somebody else, that post starts uh, getting delivered to my audience. Yes. It's very different from the Instagram. Yes. So if someone from my uh, network comments in it and has a base of following similar to me, really, uh, uh, th that's that's very assertive. Yeah. And then with Google, it's all about brands. They want to rank brands higher. Like in the world, if you look at the term Nike, it's search more than the term shoes. So more people search for Nike than the word shoes. So yeah, but like it's you said about brands, but it's only uh, brands. Or, or for example, if Nike writes something about investment, uh, because Nike is a no, 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 that won't work. That won't work. But when, when you're trying to rank on Google, you need to stick with your niche. Uh, mm -hmm. or your industry. If you're good at business, stick with business. If you're Nike and you deal with uh, athletics, you can stick with athletics it, or shoes or apparel or whatever it may be. But mm -hmm. on top of that, if you want to rank higher, Google looks at how many people are typing in your company's brand name into Google. The more they mm -hmm. type it in, the more of a signal it shows that you should rank higher. So you can release free tools and good content and this all helps you build a okay. brand.